what's up guys uh, in today's tutorial we're taking a look at RFID module uh, I bought uh, this stuff okay so the first step is to solder the uh, pin heaters on the uh, RFID uh, sensor. This sensor has um, eight pins, okay, but uh, we don't use one of them, okay, um, uh, which is pin IRQ close to ground pin. So, in today's video, um, in this project, we uh, don't um we don't use it now i'm going to attach uh, uh, the sensor on this side of the breadboard like so now time to wire up the uh, the, the sensor the, the pin sda goes to pin 10 pin s uh, ck to pin 13 pin uh, MOSI pin 11 pin MISO pin 12 uh, ground to ground pin and um, we attach uh, re reset pin to pin 9 okay and um, so the uh, 3.3 volts to 3.3 volts of the Arduino Uno if you you want to uh, 5 volts so uh, I've got here two LEDs okay the green one goes to pin 4 and the, the red to pin um, to pin 5 and the, they share the, the same uh, ground I, I mean okay guys ground now the next step uh, we go to Google and uh, we search for RFID library on github so we download it and uh, after that we go to Arduino ID so we, we can install the library so go to tools and uh, include library um, add zip library okay, I think so we install the library okay the uh, RFID library so and uh, we're gonna see uh, a message that uh, says uh, library installed okay so w we did it so we need to install uh, this last library so go to tools li include library uh, I think library manager and uh, in install this one okay uh, MFRC522 um, library so uh, after you, you are once you are done so go to now go to examples examples m f r c 522 uh, and click on dump info because through this uh, sketch we're gonna recover the um r uh, fid card code and uh, r fid tag code okay guys so um, with you uh, uh, these uh, pins okay reset pin and um, sda pin uh, so through this sketch uh, we're gonna get the uh, rfid codes okay guys um, so the uh, board is arduino uno and so we s we upload the code um, so once we are done we're gonna re recover the um, the codes so 
it can work the project the project can work first off we need to find out the rfid uh, tag code and uh, after that uh, we need to find out the rfid card code okay so these are uh, the codes that uh, we, we're gonna use to so um, uh, this project uh, this project can work okay so um, uh, that's the code uh, you uh, you're gonna see them in a moment okay so here right uh, this is for white card and uh, this is for blue card for the blue one okay so here i think i switched the things okay the first one is for uh, uh for tag code okay and the second one for um for blue one because i switched uh the things here i'm so sorry okay so uh so now we need to that's our main program okay for today so uh, th these are the libraries uh, that uh, we need okay um, with here pin uh, 10 and pin 9 okay um, sda pin and uh, reset pin so we're gonna use uh, these leds okay green one uh um green led and um red led okay so here we create the uh, uh rfid i think instance as uh, so um so here in void this setup we say that uh, the uh, leds are uh, output okay so this code look for a new card and uh, this one select uh, one of the cards okay um, the string is going to get the um, the uh, code card okay the code of the card okay uh, so here um, um, so it is going to to transform okay to convert the uh, so if the sensor detects the uh, RF, uh, rfid card code so the green led um gets high uh, uh, after two uh two seconds uh it gets low okay if the um uh if the um the program or the sensor detects a, a wrong code okay so um, the red led gets high after three seconds it gets low okay so uh, that means access access uh, denied so we send the program okay uh, time to upload the program okay it's done okay now if the rfid sensor detects a wrong card access denied the uh, led uh, the red led goes high and uh, um, uh, if it um, detects um, the right uh, code card um, the uh, green LED goes high okay uh, access denied so thank you so much